On this episode of Penny's Hot Rods and Customs, we fight fire with fire. We we're trying to maybe save Kevin a couple bucks working on a really ratty old bumper. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be the whole video. It'll be pretty boring just doing that, but we're also going to work on the engine. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. We're going to play it cool. Pretty lame. At least I don't have a man bun. Peace! Okay, so we're going to mount a uh, front fender start with the driver's side first um, we're gonna reuse the old uh, rubber it's in still good shape we made uh, a gasket for here from the inner fender to the fender we just made a gasket out of uh, it was basically just the, the gasket out of a garage door we just cut it in half. It has a nice T on it shape. It's got some ribs in it, so it'll be good. And we're going to leave the T out. So it'll sit like that. We'll show more once we get the fender on it. You'll see it, but uh, it'll keep the dust from going in there. Uh, so a little bit better. So uh, we'll grab the fender and start bolting it on. Cutters. Things I gotta get up. Remember, like, share, subscribe. It's still January, last day, I think. Yeah, and here's their, the other. This is brand new. This is the stuff that goes right there. We're we gonna tape anything up or are we just gonna. Uh, I think we should be good. Okay, I'm gonna rest it on here and I'll yeah. grab that strip. Yeah, there's a little and clinger right there. Oh shit, how to get a big scratch on it? Psych. Psych, psych, psych. Okay, not sure. Just gotta figure out which. It's the front. Yeah, that's it's probably right this way. Like that. Should be right there. And that hole goes back. Okay. Well, that's yeah. good. Should have taped it on. Okay, like the professionals. The original one was stapled, I think, to the inner fender. Back just a bit. There. Yeah, okay, well, I got it if you want to put it in there. And you can shoot a nut on it right now. Okay, this uh, gasket uh, from the fender to the cowl, it just basically sits in there. I'm not sure if I have to glue it. Uh, there is no instructions, so. I got an idea. Google it. No? Actually, I'm thinking it might just sit in there, eh? Or... Cause it's, that's where it goes. But there's no bolt from the fender to the cowl. So then the uh, running board bolts it up against there, so it holds it. So mm. that I don't know. You want to have a, a debate about it, or sit down and talk? And I would glue it in parts. I agree. That's what I was gonna say. Glue it. Yeah. Because if it went in that easy, just putting it in there, bit of a. Mm -hmm. Monkey shit to it. a little bit of goop. It ain't gonna, yep. you know. Yep. I ain't gonna be the white way. We're gonna put a little bit of goop on there, and uh, because right now it's just falling out, and we're not putting the running boards on, uh, well, pretty much anytime soon. So, do you want to talk about what kind of goop we're gonna use? Or it's amazing goop, is it? Yes, you could use gorilla. Um, I just gotta find my amazing goop. I guess it's just gonna be window goop, eh? Well, it's. Goop, goop. Oh, 
Derek knows where it is. Yeah, monkey, monkey snot. Amazing goop. This I've used this before and it works great. You want to hold the fender? Just I don't want it. It's very sticky. There's no bolt back here? No. Huh. No. Okay. What'd you do today? I held up a fender. Hmm. A little down here. A little dab will do you. Hopefully. A little down there. Hopefully that's good. The amazing stuff doesn't want to put the cap back on. Can't be that amazing. Which one's top and bottom? That's the top. Okay, pull the fender with as much as you yeah, can. That's where I feel good at it. Pull it. Yeah. You good? Yep. That's what I hear. Okay. okay. And I guess when that gets cinched in, this will. Yep. We can even pry it back a little bit and put some of your goop. That, that's a nice curve up there. That should yeah. hold it. All right, phase one. Gooping done. Phase three should be uh, go get a big gulp. Yeah. Maybe later. Then uh, mm -hmm. this uh, gasket we made It'll just look like that. The T I showed you earlier will stick out and it'll seal it nicely. So, better than, I think that looks better than uh, what the factory did. And you won't even see it anyway. Yeah, the hood covers it, but. but yeah. Okay, uh, we want to try to make a gasket for this little fender. Pop. Yep, so I'm gonna make a gasket for the little fender extension and put a couple more bolts in. Uh, you're not going to tighten up anything yet until we basically have the whole front end or the front fenders uh, this piece on and the lower valence on and then we'll start tightening things up because we don't know if where it's going to sit right now there's so much they give you so much wiggle room in these holes that it's for adjustment purposes so we're just going to leave everything loose until the final moment and then start tightening things up so we'll do that we'll make a gasket for that out of the same stuff and uh yeah, yeah that'll take a few minutes but did i get the right side <laughs> oh i didn't i failed sell the shop hey we're gonna repaint these no we don't repaint things paint things paint things once and that's it hmm. none that i want to pull off but I don't know if yeah. Kevin would pony up the money to buy new wired whites. I don't know. I don't know if it'd look good. Might look good just black tires. Getting to be kind of a hot rod. Mm. Yeah, it fits fine. Um, I'm fine with that. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I'm pretty well, sure they don't fit factory. They don't fit no. a perfect from factory. No. Nope. Well, I want to go try the other fender. On to the next fender. Phase two. Since I'm not getting my phase three. Yep. And everything, these are all still loose. And... Gee, don't sound too excited. Well, won't get excited until they're actually tightened and everything done. I would have said at least to the grill. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'll grab the fender.
Ooh. So uh, both fenders are lightly bolted on. This has been, again, we put a little bit of uh, gasket cement in there. That amazing goop to hold, just to hold it. I got some electrical tape to hold it at the bottom. Uh, the brace here was a little funky because the braces are identical from side to side. They're not a right and left, apparently on this truck. So that was a little weird, but uh, and these are all in there fitting pretty good now we're just putting getting ready to put this little gem in yep that gem I'll let you put it in I don't want to be the one that scratches it and then Corey scratched it I don't oh. sure. uh, I wonder how well this is gonna fit in here I just gotta figure out okay, we got a mile. does it go on the other side of this panel, like so. No, it doesn't. No, because it, it doesn't have a slit okay. in the back. Oh, fuck, we're off like a mile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the fenders aren't bolted like tight yeah, or anything. Yeah, I guess so. Here you go, you put a bolt in. Yeah, you got it? Yeah, I got it. I don't want to drop it. God forbid I drop it and get fired and I have to go home and watch TV. And Looks like I heard life. I you know, but no, I'm here. Oh, no. And yeah, if you wanted to be anal, you could put tape over here and while you're putting it in to protect the paint, but we got two of us here holding it, so. No, it's gonna get go go gadget arms. Fudge. I remember those being very difficult to get out. Yeah. And, uh, we're taking this thing apart. apart. Again, we're just using five sixteenths bolts. National course. Of course, yeah. Original ones are fine thread. Yeah. You don't need fine thread. And most of them we're putting lock washers that, that we can fit. If not, we're going to put uh, Loctite. Probably not long enough to... No, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, oh this one's way tighter to get your hand in. It doesn't have a big open... No, because that has that... <coughs> Oh shit, I'm way out to lunch. That vent thing. Yeah. For me. I'm not going into. Oh shit, I missed the whole totally together. <laughs> See, I really want to get fired and go home. That's why it was easy to put it. Yeah. Oh, that was the wire hole. Oh, that's. See, like I said, I really want to go home. Not really. Got a truck to build. Deadlines. Uh oh, your electrical tape is effing me up here. Oh, there we go. I'll just keep threading it through there. Can you get three in? I, yeah, I can do my Chris side. got his. Well, yeah, yeah I don't have a nut on it. It's just sitting there. He's got a, in there, I can't get because of my stupid ducting, eh? Or that, that thing, but I'll get in there. Okay. There's a will, there's a way. Hey, another day working on the 52 Ford. We'd say another day, another dollar. Another day, and another few hundred dollars. Saving. Of savings, yes. You're welcome, Kevin. This is the original uh, bumper. Uh, it had some issues. Uh, we're working things out. It's, it hasn't gone to divorce court yet. Um, even the frame had a little issue. This is the frame. It was damaged here. It was pre-welded, but when we fit the 
front valence, which is off right now. This frame rail is bent down, so we heated it up, hammered it a bit, see if that will work. And we fit the bumper. This side was majorly bent. Uh, it had a cut there. It was all cracked there. It's cracked on the bottom. The other side's about the same. Uh, Derek just heated that up and then we uh, used the crescent wrench on the the top here and used that to lever it, out, lever it back into place. And then we had to do a relief cut, open that up a bit with a zip cut. And you can see, yeah, it's... So we got that side pretty straight. We're just going to weld up that. Uh, we'll take it off, weld the bottom, and we're going to work on the other side, which... It's bent a little bit because it's this side. You can see there's a two finger gap. And that side, there's a three finger or more. So we're going to heat that up there and bend it and do a re relief cut there. It's cracked there already. You say fighting fire with fire? Yes, fire with fire. Kicking this ass, this truck's ass with fire. Yeah, we're, we thought about buying new bumpers, but uh, we still might for the back. We still might for the back since we don't have a bu back bumper. Never seen one. And uh, to get it up here in Canada, it'd probably be easily $250 Canadian, if not more. So. Oh, and a fun fact we ordered parts for his rotor Model A. Kingpins are 40 bucks, 25 bucks to ship to Canada. It's almost as much as the product. That's just for duties and taxes. Yeah, it's duties. Duty. Yeah, it's duties. Paid shipping. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's duties and taxes. Yeah. So. Dude, more than the Kingpin do work. And they still haven't delivered them. Paid for. Paid for, but not delivered. Not by this sponsorship. No. But we'll uh, heat that side up and see if we can retwist it back into place. So we'll show you that right away. All right, uh, we found another, uh, this is the uh, driver's side, and it's cracked there, and it looks like it's been pushed in here, so it sort of V's in, so we're going to heat that area up on the inside, and then uh, basically heat that up right there, and then hammer it, see if we can hammer it straighter. And like Derek said, it's only metal that can be welded back together. Uh -huh. better i would just more of this corner yeah kind of yeah more than you this way and bend it you might just have to bend this this way now that's okay. what i'm thinking hey eh? try one more thing and then if you kind of watch the curve it's just great we'll try right there and then we'll see if we can bend it also do another thing crisp oh, i guess it wouldn't matter because i was going to say it's not it could be yeah uh, I guess for that bracket, I don't know if we got to cut through that or no. Well. We got a crack like that. I think it's all crack. Oh yeah, right there, yeah. Try and bolt it up now, or? Yeah, I think we're gonna bolt it up. Ooh, so yeah, I guess we'll uh, bolt it up now and uh, heat it up, yep. and then we'll okay. heat it in submission.
Yeah, that might have to be hammered out. Yeah. I gotta remember an awful bending under here too. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's cracked right here too. It is. So okay. it's probably like that, like on that side, it was on an angle. Okay, so sure. I'm on so, an angle again. Yeah. Okay. I got my phone yeah. on. No, it's definitely a lot better than what it was. But if you look at the, the bumpers totally twist, because if you look at the top on that side where it's pointing upwards, and this is like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, it's, well, I think we're. Because, yeah, of course, take your pressure off. Yeah. Oh, okay, you got to go up. Like, like, yeah, lift it up. Up, like, yeah, like spring it up kind of deal. Like, don't go by this. No, no, I'm not going by that. But I'm just trying to like go visually, like like right there is pretty good. Okay. Like right, if you could keep it there somehow. Oh, okay. Okay, and we can red now. Okay. Well, we can weld like that's just flexing right there. We can weld that up, and if I actually put a bolt in it, that's yeah. This will uh, that, that's pretty good. It's just the this will go up like that. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good, right? There. I'd be happy with that. Yeah, actually that looks nice though. It, it's just the uh the other side it's gotta be twisted down. Okay, sure. But I'm like saying this one's sitting pretty flush here and that one's kind of Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Tilting over. You the want top. that twisted down a bit? Yep. Um I think to do that we gotta crack. Yeah. Let's see. You call that a crescent wrench? That's not a crescent wrench. It's not even a lobster. It's just at the tip, right? Yeah. I wish you could. Yeah. If you could go like right there, like that's pretty dang good. Okay. Okay, you good? Yep. Yeah, we're going again, Josh. Well, yeah, there's a lot of... Yeah, you mean. Yeah. Well, I could heat it up again. But like I said, this but is... I, it, it's more like it's not here it's right yeah if you're like you're good here and then it turns up wait it's like this part here is going to be turned now if this part could stay if the top part can be mm -hmm. i think that side looks really nice actually except for this. man this is like live action except yeah that right there. you can't buy this type of entertainment on any other shows <laughs> well probably could i could live with this really yeah yeah. Well, also, too, that will come up when you do tighten it up. Okay. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Are we going to call it okay, or? I think so. We'll just get, uh, try and knock that, knock that dent out. Okay. Where that crack is, so. Yeah, we're. All in the name to save Kevin like 250 bucks. Getting there. Get there done. Just not done yet. <laughs> Do -do -do. There's the powerful little small block Chevy. Should be good for at least 700 horsepower. <laughs> Yeah, it's right 
I'd like to get oh yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This line looks fairly straight up. Yeah. Maybe tap that. You got to zip it or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I need? This ball pen is maybe too big. Yeah, you're gonna need a smaller need one. A... Where'd that that one with the pointy deal on it go? Oh, you mean uh... hmm. that hammer with the the forty five degree dealy thing? Yeah, oh, the uh, big heavy, no. the heavy one. Well, yeah, or even the ones that you got for Christmas. Yeah, that that don't even work too. We've got a rounded head. Yeah, I don't know where they got to. They were sitting right there, but they're not. Yeah. Hmm. Got nuts? Hmm. In search of hammers. May I even bring one in? I, I don't know. Hmm. I know what hammer I'm thinking of. Blueprints. That's too light. For something. Top secret. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I might have found Water. That might be a good peek. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Where I was looking for that thing. That way I can beat it. You want to prop it up? Oh yeah, yeah, I want to prop it. There's too much rocking around. Uh, what? Yeah, it's right there. Now can I? Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. You're gonna have to. Heat, uh. Oh yeah. I can't, I don't have strength to turn it with one wrist. Eh, looks. Oh, it didn't need to be picked out. Oh. Yeah. I wonder if you take some metal out. Well, it's right in here, or did you gotta be hit back in? That's what I'm saying. It might have to yeah, be hit back in if we take some of that out. This is been pushed in right here. Does this need to come out? Yeah. On this side of the yeah, crack. Yeah, I think so. That. And then like, do, we'll take a cut right here yeah. and then tap it yeah. in. Okay, so I'll focus on this side then and then we'll call it. I think this hammer gets a little too heavy, so I'll right there. Okay. Okay. Derek's just finishing up welding on the front bumper. Not gonna be perfect. Gonna be perfect for this thing. Oh yeah, it's a ten-year-old bumper. Hmm. Then our next challenge. This frame rail, we believe, is uh, bent down. Again. Again. So, we may end up having to slice it all up here, bend this up, weld it back together, hide it under the valence. That's the way shit goes. Yeah, I guess way. Alright. Unless you got more crack. Oh, I'm sure there will be. Yeah, that's good enough for it now. This one's been welded many times in the past and it's been hit, so we think that's been bent down, so we're gonna attempt to bend that back up. Back in a minute. 
Okay, next day, working on Kevin's truck here, his 52 Ford. Uh, I was able to scrounge up a bunch of junk at home for the accessories and all that. Found the header collectors and all that, and uh, just a bunch of little odds and sods that we need to uh, start making some stuff happen here. Different alternator brackets. That alternator's garbage, but it's just uh, for mock-up. Starter? Yeah, starter. Uh, got some pulleys, and just all the little hardware <coughs> stuff we need. Like, clean up a little bracket for the... Uh, fuel pump and all that fun stuff and mount that we got a new fuel pump rod and fuel pump and I think pretty much everything for this thing now I'm sure we'll be missing a bunch but uh, yeah we'll do that today and we last night we got the bumper cleaned it's not great but we'll get there it'll be usable yep we'll make it happen so yeah my goal today is uh, that we're gonna hopefully just turn over the, the engine with the ignition key so I'm going to get on that right away. And uh, yeah, uh, Rad's all painted black. It's no more ugly, tacky looking aluminum. Got our big gulps and all that good shit. So I guess, yeah, we'll get to work and we'll keep it posted. And one big thing, <clears throat> one major modification we did. Oh yeah. We cut the frame right there. <laughs> this uh, must've been hit because this frame rail was <clears throat> down about an inch. So we had to cut it and weld it back up. <clears throat> yeah. Because this tip was down to there. So. But now it's all better. Yep. <clears throat> anyway, like, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoy this video. Or, well, probably already like 10, 15 minutes into the video. But anyway, we'll see you soon.